Once you've got Polyplex loaded up, we want to dive into the factory presets, have a little fun, and check out what kind of sounds we've got. The factory presets are quite diverse, so I think you'll have a good time checking them out. Reactor stores its presets as something called snapshots. Snapshots are basically what they sound like, a photograph or digital version of a photograph where they take a picture of all the settings of a particular synth and remember them. It's a snapshot of the synth parameters. Let's open up the snapshots menu. It's located here on the left side of the window. Now we've got some snapshot banks at the top and then we've got the actual snapshots below. We can check out templates for polyplex, one-shot samples, and kits. Let's take a look at the one-shots first. So if I go to one-shot samples, we've got some tonal ones and then some effect-based ones. If I pick tonal ones, we'll hear some keyboard type stuff, things that have pitch to them. And you hear the element of it that's a one-shot. It's not really a drum kit that you're using. It's just a one-off. It's made for one single shot, a one shot of sample. If I go to effects, we'll have lots of different effects. So office ambience. So lots of fun choices there with our one shot stuff. When we get into the kits, that's when you're doing your more traditional drum kit type stuff. You'll notice I don't have to double click a snapshot in order to load it. A single click will load up all the parameters of that snapshot. So when I click on one, like night drive, As you can hear, the sound library really is quite diverse. I can organize these snapshots in the way that they have it done already, by numbers, or I can sort them alphabetically if I like. I click on snapshots, and it sorts them all alphabetically. And if you were to manipulate the snapshots, there's plenty of room for you to save your own. You could create a whole new bank, or you can just use the space left in the bank that they give you, or manipulate the ones that it comes with. So you can save snapshots down here below. I'm going to go back to numerically sorting so that I can see that in the order that they wanted it from the factory. There it is. So now that I've got these snapshots organized and I know how to select them, I'll play with them a little bit. After I've done that, I'm going to jump into starting to configure these snapshots to really be my own. 